Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is 8258, and this is Module 14. It's hard to believe we only have two weeks left before final exams. This week we're going to be creating four additional assets, original assets for the medieval castle level. All right, so these assets are going to be something that you've created. Now, uh, you may use, reuse uh, objects, um, that you created yourself in other classes um, and use those if you'd like. Um, I'm guessing that you have probably at least two of those maybe uh, from Andy 150, uh, the dagger, um, so you can use those. And um, again these are going to be your originals and you're going to be creating basically it's just pretty simple that you're going to be creating these assets for your level. It needs to be um, the theme of the medieval and the time period of medieval. Um, so make sure that you uh, use those. You don't want to use your sci-fi crate. That won't work. So um, anyway, so we've got some ideas here. Again, this is pretty simple intro introduction. I don't have to go too deep into this, but uh, since we've been doing this all along, every project that we've had we've had to create four assets so uh, this is no different we want a medium size asset so here's some ideas so table and chairs very simple uh, structure so very simple to do um, and here's another one a wagon simple structure um, basically cubes and cylinders put together okay and then textured and then we have a market display stand, very simple as you can see. This one has is a little more involved, okay. And then we've got some barrels and boxes and stuff like that, okay. Um, I don't expect a whole lot. I know you guys are super busy with other projects too as well. Do the best you can with the assets. Um, some of you really go crazy with it, and I really appreciate that. But some of you. Um, find a hard, you know, have a hard time finding the time to create objects from scratch, and I realize that it can be difficult at times. But just keep in mind that um, these assets, um, it does help uh, to make your uh, level look more complete. Okay, so the more assets, uh, the the more assets you can find, the better. Now it is hard. The marketplace has become kind of a used to be. You get a lot of free stuff. Now it's kind of like you have to pay for it, and that's kind of what they've done when they first started. They gave you a lot of free stuff, but now it's just kind of um, you can find more free stuff on, uh, on on CG Trader than you can find anywhere else. Um, you can look at Un Unity Marketplace, maybe um, find some stuff there. I know if some of you have done that already. But um, wherever you can find free assets, go ahead and use them. Um, just make sure that they're textured. And if they're not textured, you guys can texture them yourself. Now, there's some um, a modular assets like walls that I've got here. So those of you who would like to build walls or have assets um, and use those, that's fine. So I've got, you know, from the beginning to the end of how I did it and how to apply it, okay? So that might be something you'd be interested in doing. Um, and that's about it. So it's pretty simple. You, need, you do need to uh, create a mood board. A lot of you have asked me, well, I don't know what a mood board is. It's called a game art or a game asset construction template. This has not changed. I've had this example for probably four or five, uh, three or four projects. And so, um, so you're basically uh, snapshotting your object. It can be in Substance Painter, at, you know, after you texture it and just kind of do a snapshot and then put it all together in Photoshop and then take your texture maps and put them, you know, uh, in a you know, kind of diagonal uh, up and down. So you have color, metal, and roughness and normal. So I can see those pretty easily. Um, or you can do them separately. You can do a modeling construction sheet and a texturing construction sheet, but a lot of people just like to put them all together. Um, that's about it. So once you're done, 
make sure you read my grading rubric to know how I'm going to grade you and how to turn it in. And that's it for this week. Now what I would suggest that you do is you start looking for um, assets to set dress. Now I'm only going to have you set dress one room of your castle, okay? And I'm going to make the other rooms extra credit, okay? Um, I do have extra credit here. So if you do more than four assets, um, I, I will give you, if you do six, I'll give you ten extra credit points for doing six instead of four. So that's your extra credit this week. If you, if you want to have it, uh, if you want to get it, you'll need to have six textured um, assets instead of four. And you'll need to have two extra, and you'll have to have six of these uh, construction uh, worksheets as well. Okay? All right. Have fun this week, and I'll see you guys next week on our last uh, project. Our last, we're going to finish our project with the castle, and you're going to have to set dress the entire exterior uh, outside of the castle with trees and rocks and bushes and flowers and all that stuff and pathways. Um, and so just think about what you want to do with that and make that look really good. And, um, and I'll see you guys next week and have fun. I'll talk to you later.